preventing the opponent's plan before they have even started to, to execute it. That's the topic of prophylactics or prophylaxis, uh, as someone would call it. Uh, it's, a, it's a prevention tool. You're thinking about your opponent's uh, ideas uh, even before they might get them and start working against them from early on. And uh, it's a very strong tool. It's, it's something you will notice uh, as you go up the ranks as a chess player that uh, the, the stronger uh, the opponent you have, the more prophylactic uh, they are. They, comp uh, they constantly uh, frustrate your plans. And this, this is a <laughs> really a, an, an essential GM tool. I don't know any GMs who does not use uh, prophylaxis in some uh, in, in some uh, form. So, and I'm Friday in, uh, evening, I managed to play a great prophylactic game, and uh, it was nice because I haven't played much, and it was nice to play a good game again against a strong IM from Sweden. So, let's uh, head on into it. I think it is instructive, and you might learn something about thinking prophylactically. So, prophylactic thinking, prophylaxis, and uh, as a bonus, it's in the Carlsbad structure, which we have uh, had a lot about in on this uh, GM Talks channel. So let's get on with it. He starts with D4, that is uh, default. Uh -huh. And um, and and here he usually go knight C3, and we have a Nimso Indian. And I've had actually met him two times before this this game, and and won both times. So he's probably got a lot of respect. So he plays knight f3, which is, might be considered more safe, and d5, and uh, and I play a6 here. And well, uh, I was not expecting to play Linus. I had prepared for Hector and uh, and I think Christian Jepson, and and not for uh, Linus. Uh, but and, but this is something you can more or less always play. I think with the knight on. Uh, f3, it is a little bit better than the version without the knight on, on f3. Uh, and I think Carlsen did something smart recently where he, he, he played the knight from to e2 and f4, frustrating the bishop that usually land on e6, as we will see. So he takes, takes, and we have a Carlsberg structure. Bishop d5, bishop e6, and this is Black's idea. Uh, a6. Could be a, a tempo gone to waste, but it could also be uh, helpful. And there is no knight b5 and so on. And and with the knight on f3, uh, if the knight was on g1, then putting the bishop here is not that good because uh, white would probably do something like this and frustrate it. And you don't want to to give up the white square bishop, even though it's the bad bishop. Uh, the white squares will simply be too weak. This is all common uh, theory, and c6, uh, so black, and here we can see that a6 looks a little bit weird, uh, but uh, it might not be a big problem. Queen c2, bishop d6, and this is the idea behind the setup with bishop e6, that black plays the bishop to a much more uh, active post on d6 than the usual e7. Bishop f4, and this is also a very common uh, move. Uh, the if I, I don't I play queen c7, but if I were to take here, uh, then we see the problem with this bishop. But we also see that even though white got somehow a weak pawn here, he also got his uh, central control strengthened a lot, and and some knight here uh, will be of an annoyance, and of course he's he's threatening this. And, and I think this is definitely good for white. So don't do this. Um, instead, I played queen c7, and I think this was played by Carlsen as well. And it's better to put the queen on c7 than b8. And notice that if the pawn was not on a6, then white would have, uh, maybe might have this in some, some uh, maybe not here because of queen a5. Anyway, um, or maybe, I don't know. Could be difficult. No, probably not. Anyway, uh, queen c7, he takes, takes, and we have a 
and here I, I was a bit sort of surprised, but I knew that usually, I, I'm, I didn't know if I was supposed to allow this move, uh, so I decided not to allow it. But this is, you say that it weakens the white squares a little bit, which actually we can see later on is, it could be a problem, but it's, it's also prevent knight e5, and, and I, in general, my, my chances are on the king side, and his chances are on the queen side, so I don't want to, uh, to exchange too much. He's, he here starts uh, the atypical plan. The, the, the common move here would be something like this, followed by this here, and b5. Uh, I think black is uh, well posted to oppose the, the minority attack. You probably answer b5 would, would take, and, and c5. Uh, and and will be okay due to the C file. We've seen this in uh, in the Carlsberg uh, structure masterclass. And if you have not seen it yet, I would suggest you do it. But Rook A C one is a completely different plan. I'm not sure I like this move. Uh, it's it's even though it's 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 an open file here. Oh, um, it's it's not doing much because I'm not going to move any of the pawns anyway castle and knight a4 and this of course was the idea to post a knight here and uh, but I also think it was uh, somewhat mistaken rook f8 all very natural move uh, my plan of course is is to get a space on the, the king side and maybe start an attack of some sort knight c5 so this was the idea just and I took it and here uh, he took back with the queen which also makes a lot of sense and I decided to exchange queens also because I think Linus uh, oh his rating is wrong his rating is not 2576 it's 25 2476 okay anyway uh, Linus is uh, is is more of an aggressive uh, dynamic player and uh, and technically I'm sure that I'm a little bit better than him so so getting the queens off the board I'm sure was was nice but here he makes I think a strategic mistake he takes with the rook, he should take with the pawn, and and due to this uh, post with the knight, he is probably very slightly better, not much, uh, but there is uh, one thing, he, he, he might be able to, to get something going here. Uh, also, this guy here sometimes can get to this square. So this is far away in the future, but not that uh, impossible. And and it not it's not that easy for white black to get counterplay. But okay, this bishop is supposed to be bad, but it will also protect all the weak spots very well. I think the position is is equal. If if black doesn't make some mistakes, he will not lose. But he's he's not better, and it will not be so easy to play for a win. But he took with the rook, and I think that was a mistake. And here um, we start to think. Okay, we have the the Carlsbad pawn structure, and um, and with the the queens off, the 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 white has two plans. He has uh, the plan. Of course, the Pillsbury attack is completely gone here. It will just weaken his position. So that makes no sense. Uh, but the 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 min minority attack is uh, is of course very much on the cards. Um, Getting to to give black a weakness on the queen side is a wet dream for white, and that's of course also the other plan of uh, playing f3 and e4. But that's not nearly as strong because usually this is combined with some sort of an attack on the king side, and this will not happen with the queens off the board, or it will be very difficult to to implement. So I think this is wrong. Okay, so White's best plan is is the minority attack. So I immediately start pr preventing it. I'm uh, I'm doing the prophylactic stuff here. So a5, preventing b4. This pawn can get weak, and I was a little bit wary of 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 pushing it, but also it somehow felt right. To put it here. Uh, Black's plan is, is, is to stop the minority attack from happening, posting a knight on d6, 
uh, taking over, uh, maybe if I could exchange one rook, it would be nice because that would lessen the pressure on the c file. And then I might actually be able to do a majority attack later on with the, the king assisting the pawns on the queen side, and I get to play something like uh, this. But this is uh, far away in the future, but it's something you should be aware of that it's it's coming one day. It's it, it will not. Uh, it is not something that that's that far away in the future that it will not happen. Okay. Ninety five, and that's probably wrong. Uh, the, the the knight is not very good on a five, on e five. Uh, it's it's more in the way. Uh, of course, I don't want to exchange it because then he would have the better bishop. It would probably be equal still or close to a draw, but it's it's not what you really want. But but here I play a very very prophylactic move. Uh, we we know that the, his plan is probably attacking the queen side. Uh, I could be afraid of, of some sort of king side attack, but I'm not. It's not look doesn't look that dangerous. Um, so I'm I'm just at the moment only playing to prevent his ideas and uh, his idea of course is, is is still something with the queen side so rook a7 now that looks weird that looks really weird and i'm sure not many people will play it but i like this move it does uh, pr cover this and it pre prepares to double on the a file and we see that white's plan is something like this and here and then here right and um, and but if what, black has very active rooks on the, on the a file it's not that much fun right so rook a7 it's it, it covers b7 and it uh, anticipates something coming to b file um, rook c1 he, and he, i don't know why he believes there's something going to happen in the c file it, it's not going to happen in the c file so i don't like that move either and here I take it a little bit far uh, <laughs> in my anticipation of his uh, coming uh, minority attack, Rook E A eight, and I was I was actually thinking about uh, making a video on prophylaxis when I played this move. <laughs> to be honest, that's that's not a, a good approach to to chess. By the way, you should not comment on, <laughs> on the game while you're playing. Okay, so I'm really really ready for the minority attack now. Okay, so he's, he switched plan, but, but rook c1 is, is not great uh, here. Knight e8, and we already discussed that the knight is really good on this square where it, um, it has tank tankles to uh, all the important squares here. It's like a, uh, the kingpin or something. And here I think, uh, here you should probably try e4. Uh, I will not take, uh, but but even though he, if you get these hanging pawns here, they will not be strong. Uh, they they will be something you can pro maybe attack. But uh, but he doesn't do that. He plays g4. That also uh, makes some sense. Uh, getting space on the queen uh, king side, and he's he's probably preparing uh, something like this, uh, trying to get space and maybe get the rooks to to the h and g file. Rook e8. Okay, so so the, the minority attack is not going to happen, and there is with f3 and d4 there are some weak pawns here. So I'm I'm starting to to uh, be get ready to play in the center instead. H4, and here uh, I play a very strong move. Uh, I I was you always a bit worried about this, but d5. And we, we see that this knight suddenly gets into trouble. The, my, my original plan was to play something like this, f6, here, here. But I realized after h5, white is probably uh, better here. Uh, the, the, the tactical nature of the game is, is in white's favor with the black king could get into some troubles in a lot of uh, situations. So I decided uh, that, that I would need more space and, uh, and I had a, this backup plan to play d5 first. And the thing is that I'm now threatening f6. Oops, sorry. Um, f6, and the knight would not like to go to this square. This knight. Uh, so, well, we'll get. 
um, and it has to retreat, but the bishop is in the way. So, okay, he, he, he took here, he did not have to do that. Uh, he, and, and of course, when I played d5, I was very uh, concerned about maybe if rook h1 works, I couldn't get it to work, to be honest. I just play f6, and, and uh, I don't see any attack. Uh, so I think the knight just get into trouble. I play king d7 and bishop f7, and, and there's, there's nothing here. Uh, the, the, this rook is, is completely out of the game, and any kind of uh, trying to play f4 uh, backfires with, with, with e4 square in trouble. So he moves the bishop back, that was probably the wrong square, I don't think it belongs here, maybe it should have gone somewhere like here instead. Um, f6, kicking the knight, I didn't have to do that immediately, but I will have to do it anyway at some point. And I decided, okay, I'm going to play normal moves here. I just play bishop f7. Maybe not the most precise, but but I, this is, is, and this bishop, even though it was the bad bishop before, it's not a bad bishop anymore, for sure. Because it will, uh, it will exercise uh, some pressure here. And sometimes I can play f5, and there are some white pawns here that they can attack. So there is, is no reason to, to be, uh, be worried about that bishop. And here I just see, okay, uh, I'll, I'll uh, attack your rook just to see where you're going and, um, and, and to annoy you. I see if you're going back. I'll go back, and if you go, went back, I'll play something else just to see the, show that, that I'm in charge. Uh, it's an old pit Russian trick. Bishop d6, and, and black is, is slowly taking over here. White's uh, queenside has not moved at all. And uh, I just go back. I have uh, the knight is, is of course really ups, not, uh, really good here. And um, and it's even common b7, 91. And that move I don't like. That's too passive. Uh, and and he has to start worrying about the king now because this file over here has been opened. And, uh, and it will actually uh, eventually spell his doom in uh, less than 10 minutes, 10 moves. King f7, uh, clearing the h file, bishop d3, and I'm just, uh, and I was undecided if I should take and let the knight out again, or, but I decided that, okay, the, the minority attack is definitely way off, and actually I'm probably better because I can take over the h file. So that's what I'm going to do here. And a5, a4 is clearly a mistake. And I think he, he, uh, Linus here has completely lost the thread of the game. Uh, because now the, the, the queen side is, is, is just weak for white and there's no attack, there's nothing there. Rook h8 and, and knight here. And that's, this knight simply has no scope uh, except for guarding against a, a check. And that's, that's not the role a knight should play in a game. So we see that. Black's uh, preventing White's minority attack really frustrated White and 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 sort of uh, made made his position yeah lost uh, losing all kind of flexibility here uh, this pin is really really annoying oops and I keep doing that um, and and the rooks doesn't have a, they they don't have good good squares. Don't. And I uh, just take. And here, black is already winning. Uh, the, the rook will come in, and I'll play uh, f5, and, and that will allow the knight to join the game. And also have the long term plan of putting my king on this square and play something like this. And here, uh, setting my majority in motion. And of course, uh, the pawns are weak, the king is weak, and the rooks are not co coordinating very well. Rook d1, and, and I don't think there was any defense, just invading here, and f5, and, and it's, it's basically all over already. You can't, uh, you can't defend all, all the pawns anyway, and, uh, and this makes it very easy because we see that this, this knight is totally hopeless. It's, it's both weak and uh, can't move. And just king e7. Uh, and he's already in, in Sukzwang, 
uh, can't move. Uh, th there's rook d3 coming, winning material when you move the rook, or knight e4 uh, and rook d3 winning something. So, and after this, he simply loses uh, at least the exchange. So uh, Linus resigned here. And that looked very easy. And, and this is something that often happens when you use prophylactics and, and white is not able to, or the opponent is not able to, to deal with it and find a different plan. And of course, white should have fought harder to get the minority attack going. Uh, he should not have given up uh, just because I started to prevent it. He should have, have kept going uh, with, with the minority attack. Anyway, this was uh, GM Talks with a video on prophylactic and the Carlsbad structure and a great comeback for the old Suneberg Hansen here. Thank you for watching.